Hello, <laughs> welcome to this week's vlog. <laughs> Look at this beautiful creature. This is a stoat, bigger than a weasel, cream chest, big black tip on his tail, big old boy. Look, fantastic little animal. Look at those gnashes. So it's a mustelid, same as a ferret, same family, the weasel family. Absolutely gorgeous. Sadly caught by a Chilean blue eagle on an experienced day, so not hunting, not a bird for hunting. But of course, if something like this prey runs out in front of it, or rather below it, because the bird was soaring high in the sky, those natural instincts do kick in. So a little predator, very efficient predator, unfortunately killed by another predator. This guy here, one of our volunteers, is a practicing taxidermist, so rather than just waste a guy, he's gonna be stuffed, bless him. Well, I'm at the Falkery Centre. Been here all day. Uh, had a lovely young lad who's mad keen on Falkery uh, come on the first half day of a Falkery course. Nice to know some people really still want to try and do it properly where they can. And obviously, it's a practical thing and you learn as much more stuff if you're hands on learning practically for sure. Just checking on the animals. I'm just sort of wrapping up now. And those guys are doing well. Done a bit of work in here today as well. It's not gonna look like that, don't worry. But it's sort of stuff's occurring. Desperately trying to get on over there. If you are a local business to Northamptonshire, or not, and you wanna lose, I don't know, about nearly a thousand pounds, each one of those pods, about a thousand pounds, it's about 850 quid plus a bit of roofing, it's stupid. I've got to the stage now where all of you guys that have said to me, start a GoFundMe page, I'm not going to, but seriously, if you wanna sort of sponsor a reptile enclosure outdoors um, grass snakes definitely adders but I've got to get the license licensing sorted but that's gonna be my favorite one uh, and sand lizards so another rare British species it's still there it's just waiting for me to fund it and at the moment I haven't got any funds I think I'm gonna get one done soon I'm gonna get that finished off but for sure if you want your business name sponsoring and you've got a lot more money than I have and your business is thriving yeah, I'm going to put a shout out. Do us a favour. See your name sponsoring those weird and wonderful reptiles. I'm going to do the building. My friend Dennis is going to do the building. That's what I meant to say. Uh, it is just the cost of materials. So, yeah, have a think. Other than that, it's been a long day. It's getting sort of, it's starting to get a little bit dark now. Um, just going to sort of say hello to you guys and just show you around a little bit. Look at this. Last week, beautiful, beautiful blossom. Now it's all on the floor and falling off. This is its twice yearly nightmare. So this all needs hoovering up with a billy goat from Bob uh, or blowing and, and sweeping up. It is a nightmare because it takes a while to come off. Come the autumn, it's gonna do the same thing with its leaves and it's gonna take, yeah, a couple of three weeks before they're all off. So two weeks of beauty and then twice a year agony. The lawn's getting ready to mow. I'm going to mow this on Friday. We are open again this weekend. We shut for the, the King's Coronation weekend. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, this little Lana hybrid. I think she's going to come out. She's had a good rest now for the winter. Time she came out and got her airborne again. Um, Wurzel today, useless. So if you're a falconer, you might have the same problem. We've had a very cold, cold uh, winter. We've had a cold, wet spring. 
nighttime temperatures down as well. All of a sudden last week, we had the nighttime temperatures right up and some really warm days. And that completely pays merry hell with our birds here at the Falconry Centre, because all of a sudden, they don't need as many calories to sort of keep their internal temperature up at night uh, or in the day. And all of a sudden, they just lose their appetite. So birds that were sort of, oh yeah, there's a bit of food. Let's get across the field for that. They're like, oh, do you know what? What else is going on? And they're not concentrating on the job because we've rewarded them with food. And if they've got no appetite, yeah, they don't do much at all. So that's caught us out a little bit this week and the girls as well. So they want a slight diet just to tweak their appetite a little bit more. Otherwise, the whole damp, rainy, but warm weather now is really making stuff grow. So the lawn's desperate for a cut and the plants that, the plants that we've planted, that we've planted for butterflies and things in the butterfly garden, they've all gone mad. They'll be flowering soon. Look at this beauty. <laughs> so this lovely thing, it flowers on a good summer. Must be like in the warm weather now because it's not been a good start. It's Mexican and it's pollinated by hummingbirds so it doesn't get pollinated here. I've waffled long enough. Enjoy the rest of the vlog, guys. Thanks for your support, as always. See you in a minute. Brought you down here just a week ago. Warmer nights, warmer days and constant ruddy rain. Look at all of that. The herbage is high. It's gone from cold, damp spring, bit of growth, it's like midsummer already, it's phenomenal. The green fields of England. Apart from the yellow over there, David. I don't think you can see, but it is May and the mayflies are up and dancing. Maybe they'll come out, maybe they won't. Dance of the mayfly. Something that's been going on for millions and millions of years. Beautiful. So after a couple of disasters this breeding season with blackheads not laying and yellowtail creebos laying in fertile eggs. It's good to see the blue beauty snakes haven't let me down. Lovely clutch of eggs. They always seem a little bit protective of them, a bit like a python, often curled really tightly around them. We'll get them out so she can get a good feed up, get her body condition back, and we can incubate these in proper conditions to see go but look at these or not as the case may be a lovely clutch of eggs good size eggs let's hope for some cracking babies a beautiful blue female there even these blue beauty snakes really are really are gorgeous and terrific snakes to keep a beautiful sight So here I am at the Falconry Centre again with Jackie, Saturday morning, 15 minutes from opening. Look at this. Oh, it's going to flower this year. So 15 minutes from opening, um, we've got Sky back on the team. Sky, who's looking a bit cheesed off that she's tethered and there's lots going on because she spent the winter in her aviary sort of really relaxing away from us all. So she's a Lana 
Alana Hybrid. She'll be back up in the air soon, although she's somewhat portly. I'm going to have a go at flying spot today for the public. I've not flown spot for the public for about four years. So he flies with the girls on our experience days. He's an African spotted owl. He's about 20 years old. I'm going to see how he handles being back in front of the public as an audience. But we'll see what happens there. So coming along, got Harris's hawks there. Thomas and Kyle, Zara and Alan. Two of the most phenomenal Harris hawks last year in the UK. Um, she's sitting on eggs, so good luck with that. Just filling up their water and giving them a water change. Nice and closed off so they can relax while they're rearing. Or hopefully, hopefully those eggs will hatch. We'll see. We don't know if they're fertile or not. What else can I tell you? Well, I can tell you Zeus's talons growing back. Let's have a quick look at him. So, <laughs> ooh, I've just cleaned out all the aviaries. Jackie's doing a bit of gardening. Wurzel, look at this. Look at this. It's been cold. It's actually nine degrees this morning. Is it the coldest, wettest ever start to a year ever? Now we're in May. So Wurzel's, he'll be up in the air this afternoon, I'm sure. But let's see if Zeus will show you his talon. If you remember back in the hunting season, he ripped a talon sheath off. It took a long time for anything to grow back. But come and have a look at this. For those of you who don't know, Zeus is a golden eagle. So, hey boy. Here he is. Very messy down there. So here, let's have a look. <laughs> it's that middle one there, look. You can see the quick, the sort of manky looking quick underneath, but you can now see shiny keratin growing back. So I'm really pleased with that. Oh, you are silly. Where are you going? So Zeus is a lovely golden eagle. He's such a good boy. And we've got a great relationship where we've kind of been working together now. I think he'll be 10 years old. I think he was an egg 10 years ago. But beautiful boy. So all coming along. Wildlife menagerie is great. Um, still got to get some, some money together for those reptile enclosures, as I mentioned earlier in the week. Hopefully one of you has got a thriving business that's got a passion for reptiles and can help me out. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to crack on, but I'll see you guys in a bit. So it's time to feed the newts. They're going to have worms today, chopped earthworms. The elvers, the baby eels. Wow, it's just my reflection. Hang on. These guys have a mixture of frozen Daphnia, frozen Cyclops, frozen Bloodworm, and frozen Tubifex worm. Hold on, guys. Don't be sick. There's one. A variety of frozen small invertebrates at this size. Until they're a little bit bigger, we can give them a chopped meatier diet of worms and trout and all sorts. Sticklebacks, and they're all waiting hungrily. They're all waiting hungry for their food. They know where it comes. <laughs> Beauties. Right, time to feed them. Making is an excited noise. She is two now. Oh, she's lived here with us at Icarus Falconry since last January. And how we came to get Roxy is um, Nadi, the gamekeeper's daughter, um, fed her from a blind cub because her home was destroyed, so she had nowhere to go. So she was taken in and raised by Nadi and her partner and her dog. So she trusts dogs and humans implicitly, as you can see. So it's not safe for her to be released to the wild because she probably 
get killed by traffic or worse still by dogs or humans because not everybody's nice so what we thought we'd do is we'd give her a nice home here at Icarus Falconry she's got a luxury five star accommodation haven't you Rux and um, staff here work really intently with her to um, give her that stimulation and interaction that she needs because she's highly intelligent and she's really loving as well so she's really enjoying you can see she's really enjoying this stimulation the stroking and fuss that we all like really you can get to do this here at Icarus Falcon Me and in, in your own way help her because if you come and visit her the money that you spend here it's 20 pounds for a 20 minute experience in Roxy's Den with her you're actually giving her interaction and stimulation which she craves so you're giving back to her on both those levels so in order to gain her trust we let people come into the den here and they get to give her treats and when all the treats are gone and only when all the treats have gone she will let you stroke her her favorite area to be stroked is here she loves her ears being pulled and you see her ears match her socks she loves that she likes her nose being stroked and she does let staff tickle her on the tummy but she doesn't necessarily let all visitors do that but she really enjoys that so in a few months <clears throat> if you're here coming to see us at Icarus over the summer you'll see her looking perhaps a little bit more scraggly and that's because she's having her summer molt and her tail goes very thin and she doesn't look in great condition but as you can see she's really healthy and well looked after she's a bit of a pampered pooch um, when you come to visit her you can have a look around her den and look at her sun deck and what she snuggles up on and her enrichment toys like this so we hide treats in here so we're getting her to work and use her brain she likes to work out puzzles and she gets treats can you see some treats tucked in there <clears throat> so while we're open April to September why don't you think about coming and having an experience with Roxy she'd love to see you thanks very much